Yoritomo and Masako's sons, the second and third shoguns, weren't warriors. They were princelings, more interested in art and literature. And after they were sidelined, both dying violent deaths, it was the warriors who took charge of the shogunate. Masako's family, the Hojo, were warriors. And it was under their stewardship that the Kamakura shogunate will continue and prosper. The history of the Hojo family in Kamakura was longer even than that of the Minamoto. It was the ancestor of the Hojo family who had invited Yoriyoshi, the Shogun of the North, to make his base in Kamakura, also offering his daughter's hand in marriage. And it was the later Hojo Lord, Tokimasa, who was charged with the guardianship of the young exile, Yoritomo Minamoto, and it was Tokimasa's daughter, Masako, who Yoritomo married. It was the Hojo family who had created and marshalled the Asahina Pass and the rest of the seven entrances into Kamakura that were built narrow enough and easy enough to defend to ensure the capital's safety. Look at this just about wide enough and high enough for one man on horseback to get through. But although the Hojo were the most powerful figures in the Shogunate after the death of Yoritomo, they weren't themselves Shoguns. They couldn't be. They weren't members of the Minamoto clan. They were just allies. And it was this fact that was used by certain emperors to try and claim that the Hojo rule was illegitimate. Gotoba managed to gather forces loyal to the imperial cause. But they were no match for the samurai who stayed loyal to the nun shogun Masako, the Hojo and the Kamakura shogunate. Gotoba was exiled to Oki Island in the Japan Sea and the Kamakura shogunate once again reigned supreme in Japan.